So I was very generously gifted this for Christmas. Thanks, Mumsy. And it really sparked an idea in my head. Bond is a golfer and a very good one. But why has he not been back on the golf course? Why have the films not shown this more often? It requires some more thought. I definitely need to walk and think this through. So let's spoil a good walk. So in the novels, Bond is a good golfer. I remember Goldfinger, about a third of the book is taken up with that golf game. It's brilliant. Then in the first continuation novel by Kings of the Amos, we got to see Bond playing golf with Bill Tanner at the start. One of the classic sequences in the series is Bond playing a high stakes game with Goldfinger. Some people say it's the best ever golf put to celluloid. Better than Tiger Woods. <laughs> However, in 1969, when Lazenby was leaving the hotel, Draco's men intercepted him, and he never played golf again. What I'm asking is, why was it when Bond gave his golf clubs to that hotel employee, did he never play golf again? Well, here's the problem. Golf isn't a very cinematic sport. Film is an action-based medium. It relies on images to tell the story. Some purists say only action drives cinematic storytelling. Is golf's action exciting? You're probably bored as hell watching me make this video walking through a golf course. Golf isn't a sport like boxing, tennis, or skiing to bring it back to Bond. It seems like this sport is just too peaceful for our hero. However, I think there's a way to do golf better with strong writing and direction. We watch Casino Royale and we know the stakes. Some people don't even know the rules of poker, but what we do understand is the emotion and the consequences if Bond loses the game. And that's what you need to do if you're reintroducing the world of golf to Bond. Golf will never be life or death like skiing is, but it could be like Baccarat, poker, blackjack, a battle of intelligence, skill, and most importantly, ego. I think what people underestimate about golf, especially in cinema, is if you inject enough character, plot, and stakes, it could be really intense. For example, this is a par four. Jenny's at home holding my favorite Bond DVDs hostage. And if I don't make this putt, she's gonna microwave them. So there's only one thing to do to save the thing I love, make the putt. Yeah, I know that was a silly conceit, but if I can inject a tiny bit of tension in the last shot of that hole, imagine what the Bond filmmakers could do with James Bond and the world of golf. Please comment what you thought of this video. I was a bit creatively frustrated and wanted to try something different. I hope you enjoyed this venture into the wild. I hope to do stuff like this way more often. Please shoot that like button, it makes a difference, and subscribe too. But for now, keep safe everyone, and bye.